I love keeping notebooks and I'm always drawing and doodling. The idea for a field guide to leaflings came from an old sketchbook of mine. This is the first time myself and my husband Owen have collaborated on a picture book together. When we rediscovered these old character sketches, we both knew we were onto something. Our kids loved these characters right from the start when I came up with them. And they would try to spot leaflings when we went for walks in our Gillen Woods, close to where we live. This was one of the first ever drawings I made of a leafling. Leaflings evolved over time. We hoped that the field guide would immerse the reader in the world of the leaflings, that it would offer children a unique perspective on how wonderful trees are. In the book itself, there are little mini storybooks to open and fold outs with tree facts. You can even see from the roofs that I was trying to figure out different ways of doing things. You can see the tiny leaflings I'm designing. I'm working out just how they will look. I'm experimenting with how the little books might work and I'm mocking up lift the flaps here. This could be a tree house where a leafling might live. There are so many things to work out. I also wanted the book to have a very organic flavor. So I used watercolor on an organic cotton paper. I wanted the illustrations to have a nice light, loose look. When I'm working out my ideas, I always make a dummy book. The drawing on the left is an early design for what the holly spread might look like. I've reused old paper and found things throughout the book to make it look more tactile. These were pieces of paper that I found in India and in France, and I've used them throughout the book in different ways. I hope you enjoyed getting a sneaky peek inside my notebook.